Hey guys, how you doing? What's up? Welcome to my channel. This is Jewish Education at Home. And if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. So happy to have you here. My name is Hannah and this channel is all about Judaism, learning about Judaism, um, spirituality, home education, homeschooling, and conversions to Judaism also is a topic on my channel. So if these are topics you really like and are interested in, would love for you to subscribe to my channel and stick around a little bit. Um, for this video, I'm going to share with you a bunch of children's books that teach about racism and diversity that really have sparked a lot of discussion between me and my children in our house. So like, where do I begin? Because there's so many of them. I have a few to show you that are my favorites. So the first one I'm going to share with you is called Just Ask. It's by Sonia Sotomayor. She's a Supreme Court Justice. I think every kid should read it and I'll share with you a little bit about what's inside. It starts off talking about a kid who has diabetes and how he needs to prick himself. Um, and then it asks the question, do you ever need to take medicine to be healthy? Oh, there you go. Do you ever need to take medicine to be healthy? And then it talks about a little boy that has asthma. And then it asks the question, whoops, sorry, it's backwards on my, on my camera. Then it asks the question, uh, my inhaler is like a tool to help my body. Do you use a tool to help your body? And then it goes to the next page where it shows a child who uses a wheelchair. And then it asks the question, how do you get from place to place? And then it talks about a child that uses a guide dog um, because they cannot see. There's a lot of different talk in this book about other abilities. So like, because a lot of times I think kids will stare, right? If they see someone walking with a guide dog or maybe someone has a stutter, uh, right? And it's like something that they're not used to or they don't know about this sparks a lot of discussion it's really good it's very appropriate for kids to learn for all kids to learn all ages next book or books i'm going to show you it's a series is called ordinary people change the world by brad Meltzer. i love these books we've been reading them for a long time we've read and reread them so many times um, i was able to get these four from the library um, but there is a bunch of other ones also that are equally as phenomenal as these. It's a biography series. There's also a PBS uh, video series um, called Xavier Riddle and the Secret Museum, which is also really, really good for kids. I'll share with you these. One is I am Rosa Parks. One is I am Jackie Robinson. I am Harriet Tubman. And I am Martin Luther King Jr. Now these books do not sugarcoat racism and that's what i really like about it it's very real and very raw but it's not scary it's not written in a way that's gonna like scare your kids if that makes sense and i'll open one inside i'll show you what i mean here's one page where i'll show you it talks about how uh, when martin luther king was a boy he had a friend who was white and then when they started school the boy told him he couldn't play with him anymore because he was white and he was black and it you know, it kind of puts it in like a little, but like a talking bubble and kids get the point, but it's not, it sparks discussion. It kind of arouses compassion, actually, I feel. And by the end of these books, like really, I'm like kind of choking up a little <laughs> when I read it because so powerful. It's really, these are all really powerful books. This whole series is very powerful especially the ones about racism. The Harriet Tubman one talks about slavery in a very real way, but very understandable for kids. It says here, I know it's scary, but by hearing my story, I hope you'll find strength you never knew you had when she was talking about, um, when, you know, talking about slavery. So it's very, it sparks a lot of discussion about slavery and it's very informative and it's, um, I mean, personally, our kids have always loved this series. As young as two and a half, three, I've been reading these books. So now we'll go to the next one, which is called The World Needs More Purple People. And this is really a fun, fun book. It's a celebration of the self, right? It's kind of like a love yourself, feel good, happy book. But I think the message is very clear, especially because the images are very diverse. And so what's this book about? It's all about being a purple person. So what do purple people do? They ask a lot of questions. Whoops. They laugh a lot. 
it just goes through a bunch of different things to do to become a purple person, right? But then at the end, there's kind of like a punchline. I'm going to give you the ending away. <laughs> um, and it says, step five, paint yourself purple. Is that there? It says, just kidding. Don't really paint yourself purple because it doesn't really matter what you look like. We're all purple people, right? And just be you. And it talks about just being you and being who you are makes you special. And in this book, the way it relates to children is what does special mean? It means you're a purple person. It's a really great book. It's a really feel good, happy book. There's one more book that I wanna share with you that I don't have and I'm sorry and I'll post a picture here so you can see what the cover of it looks like. It's called Not So Different by Shane Burkaw. Phenomenal book. It was so good. It's all about how he has a genetic disease called SMA, which stands for spinal muscular atrophy. It talks about what that is and how he learned that he had SMA. It kind of gives you like a brief tour of his wheelchair and it gives you so much information. It's informative. It's definitely teaches about diversity and differences but at the end of the day we're really not so different just because someone's in a wheelchair or has SMA or or whatever other ability someone is given by God right we're all people inside we all have feelings right I actually looked him up after reading this book because it was so moving it was such a touching book I found out that he has a YouTube channel <laughs> It is a phenomenal channel. This is for the parents if you wanted to learn more about SMA. Um, it's called Squirmy and Grubs, and I'll link you below. And he talks about um, being in an interabled relationship. He's getting married to a woman who does not have SMA, and they just talk all about their life in a very real, raw way, but it's like, they're great. They're hilarious. <laughs> They will make you laugh. They will make you cry. Those are the books that I want to share with you. If you have anything to add to this, please feel free to comment below. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.